Hello everyone and welcome to uh, another deck that I'm going to be doing and this one is going to be a really aggressive Zeus deck and it's going to be Zeus Juice. So basically the goal of this deck is to try and really pump out the early game and all the cheap spells and minions that Zeus has, mainly like Apollo, that's one like one of your best cards since you can get attacked twice. And make it so uh, you just win super super fast and there's a lot of cards in this deck that can are really good to counter um odin aggro and also mayan decks just because apollo can kill two zombies or two cursed warriors and then you have aphrodite to shield your your stuff from them and yeah you have just ragni popping a lot of spiders especially with new ragni so let me show you what the like the deck looks like and then we're going to do some games together and you're going to be able to see a little bit how it works and most of the time you're going to have to like they're going to pop a lot of stuff but you're going to have to go face instead of trying to trade since you're playing a really aggressive deck so we're going to have to erect these uh since the change they're like your best first play just pop a lot of spiders and like you have a rack really really good we're going to have judgment still really really powerful nemesis if you're playing against mid-range, it's really, really good. Um, then we're going to have, uh, like, the main and potatoes. The meat and potatoes, should I say. The main and Anyways, Apollo. Like, if you can buff him, it's really, really big. Um, we're also going to have Scylla. Uh, we're going to have Aphrodite, which is a really, really good body for 4 mana. And it gives, like, Protect Hooter, your Scylla and Apollo. So that's also really, really effective. I'm going to have the aside to kill with any big gods that comes into the board. Poseidon to put your opponent on a clock in the late stages of the game. We're going to have Thanatos to um, also get some like removal and a body on board. Keep in mind you can finish summoning stone also with Thanatos. Uh, we're going to have Enyo. And Enyo is going to be the only 5 drop and that's going to be the card that costs the more. And it's why we're going to be able to deploy aggressively onto their zone and we're going to be buffing everything under our side of the board especially all the spiders and, and like if you have an apollo still like that's going to give them plus two damage so that's going to be it uh for the pantheon now we're going into neutral we're going to have thracian really aggressive unit also um and i really like the, the combo of putting the thracian and then you just play after soldier and that's attack literally for five damage on turn two so I really like that. You can play it in any of your aggressive decks. So, so, um, you play Thracian into Sorcerer. And we're also going to go, since we're aggressive, we're going to play a lot of cards from our hand that cost 2, 3, and 4. We're going to play uh, 2 Argus. So we're going to be able to draw cards. And it's also good against like Odin and Zombies, uh, Mayans, if we're going into uh, another aggressive decks. Like range with one attack, that's exactly what you want. Um... After death, we're gonna have one last card. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at, and it's going to be poison poisonous hydra. So, if your opponent's going for a board clear or something like that, you're gonna be poisonous hydra. Then they will still take damage for that. And yeah, like, and that's one of the things with uh, annihilation uh, being nerfed, and with oh, I'm gonna go in rank, guys. With annihilation being nerfed, and with a uh, blight being nerfed. Um, the AoE removal will be less good, which means that aggro decks will be better. And this deck is already really powerful uh, in this meta right now. It's going to be even more powerful probably in the next match. I mean, we have a bunch of new cards and everything, but still, I think that the core of the deck will still be really, really good. And remember that the best card in your deck is going to be an Apollo. Like... I remember once my Apollo attacked for 12 in a turn, 6 and 6, and that's really, really huge. So, whenever we get into a game, I'm going to show you how this deck does. So here we are in game, we're going to be Deuce playing first versus Apoash going second, and with all of that, um, we're just going to reshuffle everything, that's really not what we want. We're going to have a Thracian, and... We're gonna have the soldier after, and this is exactly the combo I was talking to you. Probably going to be a zombie. Oh, it's going to be a Thracian itself. Okay. So, I mean, I want to have the kill. 
here. Take advantage of... Usually I will play Apollo. But... Uh, yeah, remember to not attack before your Thracian move. Because if you auto attack, your Thracian is losing his passive ability. There we go. And we're into a really good start. Remember how I told you that this guy was really good against aggressive... Uh, Odin decks and Mayan decks like the soldier is going to be able to kill a lot of zombies and or curse warriors So is Aphrodite so is a lot of stuff so mana pushing for Seaver on a two drop and that's probably going to seal the game in in favor of Of us. I mean that Apollo is going to be so huge. It's not going to even matter after that Unless he kills it with another Seaver which I mean I will be kind of bad because then I'm going to have to play a Tanthos just for the body. Second Seaver coming down. Let's hope we get a good top deck. Uh, yeah, let's just go with a Tanthos. Because we want to put some pressure. Unfortunately, he had really good removal. It's going to be Kukulkin. Um, Not a big deal. No, we can just play Nemesis. So We're still good with that. Oh, let's play. So, there. Great. Uh, Nemesis Judgment. We're gonna have two left, so. Let's just go like that. We have two gods. I mean, because I played Thanatos before. And don't be afraid. Sometimes you won't get the full value out of your cards, but you you are an aggro deck. Like, you have to go in. Right? I could have just played Deicide, but I wanted an extra body, and this is probably where I can regret it since this is not a god. Uh, Barter Souls, gonna give him more extra stuff. Um, honestly, I'm just going to go with. I have to buff this though. Yeah, that's a lot of attack. I don't want it to kill my soldier though, that's one of the things, right? So, everything needs to be like if there's a blight, I'm gonna probably regret this. Uh, Will I? Will I? Yeah, I'm gonna regret if there's a blight. Let's play it safe. If there's a blight, he's gonna make so much zombie. If there's raised graves, not much. Okay, I can live with that. Another sever who he took it back. Well, that's okay. We're gonna have a good amount of damage. We're gonna be drawing some amount of cards. Moon bats. Oh, do we kill him? Let's see. Let's go for an Arachne first. And we have an Apollo. Yeah, let's go with like that. Um, Scylla can kill it, right? Yes. Get the buff out. Get more buff. Kills it. And then you still push damage. And as you can see, really effective. That soldier is just buffing all of the multiple units I'm gonna play here. Didn't get the Kukulkin, but I was ready with the Dia side. Okay, okay. That's kind of cute. That that's kind of cute. Uh, let's see. I have, have enough damage, right? Yeah, we do. Let's just finish the game here. Uh, yeah, there's no need. I'll at least get the XP of the cards. At least. At least. Right? There you go. Okay. So, now we are. So, that's going to be the first game. And as you can see, it's a really, really effective. And it was an interesting deck. I mean, I like um, Empowered Dead into Gladiator. It's really neat. So, uh, without being said, let's try to go and rank again and let's see if we can get a different opponent than Apoche and actually any other deck. Except maybe I don't like aggro deck because you already see a little bit how it works with an early deck type. Um, so, yeah, uh, if we can get a mid range more control, that would be also really great. Here we are. So, we're going first and it's again Nua. So, I like that. I actually really like that. So, um, are we starting with a, uh, they have rushing thunder? Let's start with one Arachne. 
an Aragni. No, let's start with two Aragni's. Just so good. Like right, the best thing instead of an Aragni could have is a Napalo. I could have some more removals, but I mean she's the one who's gonna need removal because I'm opening first and I'm going with an Aragni. Okay, this side one could be good, and we're going aggressive here. I don't really care. Unless, like, there's if there's an Aina, I'll be a little bit sad, but I can always buff my Arachne and trade with the Aina, especially if he puts it in in the front row. If it's put in the back row, I'm just going to send my Spider in front. There's not much I can do. Mana Potion, okay. Is that going to be an Archer? In front? Ooh, that's cute. Uh, okay, so... Um... Uh, what I'm going to play that's a god I can buff that I mean if I buff trade I just trade for that it's gonna have another three drops yeah so I'm just going to move this to the back move this to the back because that can count for a judgment and I'm going to make this trade there you go um, Thanos can always come back and make the trade. So, okay. That would not. Oh, he had two! That's a surprise. Okay, well, it happens. Hmm. So, let's go for Chathos and then we can start buffing stuff. Oh, that sounds so great. Okay, we still have Poisonous Hydra. Scylla and buffing Tathos. It's gonna be a good turn. Or just Scylla and buffing herself. Sometimes it's really good. Evolve. Oh, he's gonna regret that. I mean, I mean he's probably going to regret that. Go for that. Um, I'm probably going to go with the Thracian. Just offers better value. There's a rushing thunder though. I'm gonna be a little bit sad. There you go. Who is this Idra is something I really want to put on the battlefield now? Okay. Is that a Guan Yu? No, that's not gonna be a Guan Yu. It can be. What's the worst thing that could happen? Fate Forge. He's gonna kill the Tathos. I don't really care about that. Um, I can kill the back stuff in the back. I needed my Scylla here. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's buff this so it makes the attack there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, at least we're gonna have a little bit more spread into it. Now we have we have something good here. If we can force a Dragon King in this and just play Poison Side after, puts us in a good spot. Fortunate that or not, Ragnar got silenced. The other one got killed so fast. Recall. Oh, so I'm really glad I buffed the Arachne. Then that will have been useless. It's gonna kill the spider. Wait, what? Why would you not kill the spider? I'm just going to buff her. Business Hydra. There you go. Now he's gonna have two less mana to play with. Oh! I should have moved this one down though. Because now the Dragon King is just gonna wipe this. Yeah, that wasn't. Optimal placement. A gladiator. It's gonna have free craftsman blade and it's gonna have to play the poisonous though. Yeah, okay, that's good. Judgment here is gonna bring everything I need. I need a second god though. Uh Tantos. I think that's the end of the game, right? And I can just buff this back here. Attack here, move here, and finish the game.
What? No, it's so oh, they fixed it. Well, they fixed it. Usually, even if you play Tathos and whenever there's a target, you could finish it. But, you know, since it's a war cry, some people. I was arguing um, that, you know, Tathos is a war cry, so it should not trigger after, it should trigger when you play it. Anyways, um, you know, you can always finish the summoning stone with, uh, with the Tathos, but I should have not. Killed the 4-4 four, four if I wanted to finish the game there. Um, and just wait until the stone had 2 HP to play the Tathos and finish it. Anyway guys, this should give you... I mean, that was a control deck. With the Blade Forge, the removal... You, you could have... You, you, you can easily see that. So, I hope that you guys enjoy it. And I hope that you'll try the deck. Because it's really, really fun. And it's been really performing well. To my surprise, honestly. I played it a lot. I played it on stream last time. And, like, we grind some some ranks before the ranks reset. And, yeah. I really like this deck. Um, you know, Juice Juice is the way to go. Definitely. Um, and, yeah. A lot of people are surprised by that. I mean, if everybody starts playing it, then people won't be surprised. Thracian Soldier, as you, could, you saw, is really good. Also, early game. So yeah guys, um, hope that you enjoy, I hope that you like it, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and uh, leave a thumbs up, that really helps me out, and I'll see you in the next video.